Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So officially, I am starting up a, a hopefully year long project plan for 2021. I did a brief project in the middle of 2020. Um, I've done project panning in the past. I don't know if I have any of those videos like on my channel still or what the deal is, but I've done project panning. I've like been fairly involved in the project pan community in regards to makeup. Um, I kind of just like fell off of it because I felt like I didn't necessarily have a lot or a lot of stuff was new. And so I didn't want to be like panning items that were new and like neglecting other new items. But I think Sarah Rose, most of you, if you're makeup project panners, probably already follow her, but Sarah Rose, her rolling project 10 pan for the last couple of years has just really inspired me to officially do one this year. So I'm gonna kind of do my own ish version of a rolling project 10 pan for makeup. I really want it to be makeup only, but we'll see how this year goes. Um, I have, <laughs> I have currently 13 products in the Rolling Project 10 pan, um, and you guys will kind of see why as we go through this. Um, so here is my little makeup basket of items. Um, it really doesn't look like that much, but we'll get into it. Uh, so I tried to take some tips from Sarah and her past updates just because I feel like I wasn't necessarily very successful in these in the past. And so I'm going to try to be really good about keeping track and then like marking my usage um, and maybe like setting usage goals and like those types of things as opposed to just like the monotony of not hitting pan or whatever the case might be. Um, just so I don't get burned out and then also so I can stay on track. So let's talk about the products that I have chosen. So the reason I have 13 products, but this container looks so tiny is because I'm putting in this hourglass um, ambient lighting palette. This is so reflective. I hate showing it, like holding it. It just reflects everything as you can see. Um, so this has six products. Oh my gosh. Um, this has six products on the inside, as you can see. So. Um, I'm counting this technically as six items in the project, even though this is like one overall, but um, I have all of these counted in my inventory individually, like the bronzer is in with the bronzer, the two blushes are in with the blushes, etc. So really to me, this is six products, which out of 10 means I only had four left. So that's why I kind of added a couple more. Um, but I don't know if you can tell this not that it's unused, but I don't have like any pans yet. Um, some of the powders are fairly flat. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Um, once I get going with like actual progress, I've seen people pan this and it's like so satisfying. Um, I've panned a mini hourglass powder before and once you hit pan, like or like get dips you know it's very easy to see stuff so once we start getting to that point on this um i'll probably include like pictures month over month or whatever that might look like um i took a picture but unless it really looks significantly different next time i don't know that i'll like compare the two but um i'm hoping i can finish this just because they are all minis and i'd really like to get this out of my collection because it's one of my oldest makeup products um in like the powder realm i guess you could say um so that's my first six products technically um so number seven is this mini milk makeup bronzer so this is so close to being done it's a mini and it didn't really necessarily come with a lot of product um but since it's a just like you don't use a ton of it, I guess. Um, it's really been lasting for quite a while. So this is maybe like a year and a half old-ish, but since it's a cream product, I just like wanna be mindful about it. And it's so close to being done. Like I don't just wanna neglect it now. Like I'm almost done with it. Um, fairly soon after I bought it, the like, um, however you like roll it up, like the mechanism stopped working. 
I don't know. I've heard other people talk about it. Like it doesn't go up or down. It doesn't do anything. Um, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What? Okay, now am I? Okay. Um, th this has never happened before. I don't know why this is happening live on camera. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, turns out I have a ton of product left in here and I miraculously just fixed the mechanism for rolling. What? I don't know how that just happened live just now. Okay, so there's a lot of product left in here, evidently. Uh, so maybe I can't finish this this year. Uh, I'm gonna try just because it's my only cream bronzer, so like whatever. Uh, but I've seen other people talk about their thing being broken, like being able to turn it. And so I'm literally at a loss for words. I don't know that I'll roll this up and mark this. Just because I'm nervous if I roll it all the way up, I'm not going to be able to roll it all the way back down. Just because it's been broken. And now all of a sudden, it seems like it works. I'm literally shook. Like, what? it's working but like but like not like fully so that makes me nervous okay well the project just got a little bit steeper than I originally had anticipated <laughs> okay so sticking with the cream product theme um, I'm also putting in my Glossier Halo Scope. I've worked on this in a project before, but I really want to get serious about using this. This one, the uh, twisting mechanism works fine. This is how much I have left. This little plastic piece is like kind of where I'm gauging it. Um, so right now, I mean, I have quite a bit left of this and I totally, I forgot to wear it today even. I can't believe it. Um, it's officially like right flesh flush, flush, sorry, uh, with the packaging. Um, I think it comes, you know, probably like a little bit like this over the packaging. So I've used that much, but it's not like, you know, dipped into the packaging whatsoever. So, um, fingers crossed. I don't really know how this is going to go, but this is another product that I really want to get some use on this year. Uh, this was in my product or my project last year, so this is no surprise. This is the roughing, <laughs> roughest looking makeup product that I have. It's the Wet n Wild Coverall Press Powder. I don't know that they still make this anymore. Um, this is what it, that thing falls out every time. This is what it looks like. Um, I only use this to set my eyeshadow primer so it doesn't go very fast um this I probably will do pictures just because I feel like this since it's so has a lot of pan already um it might move a little faster than like the other products um and it may soon come to the point where I have to repress this because if you get to a corner I've used this before um if you get to a corner it starts to crumble so at that point you kind of have to repress it so this one might see a little bit more action um so I will probably include the pictures for this one but I think this is a guaranteed finish even though some of my other products might be a little bit lofty <laughs> for goals I think this is a guaranteed finish which I'm happy about and I just like, it's older. It's the only thing I use it for. Not that I don't necessarily support Wet n Wild anymore, but I don't really buy from them just after all that stuff kind of went down. Um, and it's just something I wanna get out of my collection basically. Um, now moving into lip products. So you guys know I am doing a lip project for the whole uh, entirety of 2021. To go along with that, I'm putting two uh, lip products to start off with in this project that I would like to finish. The first one is the Fenty Glow Gloss. This one's pretty reflective too, in the shade Fenty Glow. <laughs> it's like their gloss bomb. Um, this hasn't quite settled, so I haven't marked it necessarily. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I think I'm right at like the N in Fenty, so like right here. Um, but this I've actually been using quite a bit. I used it, I didn't mark it down yet, but I used it 
at least five or six times today. I want to say it was six times. Um, so I'm seeing some movement on it. So I'm feeling really good. I'm just going to let it settle a little bit more before marking it. Um, but this actually does settle pretty nicely. I don't know if you can tell, like it actually settles, which I really enjoy. Um, but this is one of my oldest glosses, so I really want to use it up. Another lip product uh, that I mentioned in my lip project that I'm doing for the whole year, but one I officially want to finish is the Tarte Rose. This is their Lip Quench Lip Quench Lip Rescue Formula. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Like I've used a bit of this. It's like in the container. Um, I've used one of these up last year. This is how much I have left. It's not a ton. Uh, this one is in here because I have another that I got for Christmas in the same exact shade. So I just want to use this one up and I know it's relatively simple. So this one, since it rolls up and down, I will be tracking the progress on a little piece of paper. And then the last two are probably kind of random, um, but it's two Kylie K lip liners. So this is probably really random. I feel like Kylie Cosmetics was like, did I say, is it called Kylie Cosmetics? Yeah. yeah. Um, she was like super popular. Like when her brand first came out was like, Oh my God, everybody buy everything. And so like, of course I, I was really into it that at that time. Um, honestly, I haven't really like bought anything from her since. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not really into like liquid lipsticks and all that. Like what I had originally bought from her and then um, prior to her being sold in Ulta, like I have a couple for lip glosses, I guess. Like otherwise she's not really on my radar. Um, I have decluttered everything pretty much that isn't new besides these two lip liners. And I didn't declutter these two lip liners because I really love them. They are Posey K and Coco K. Coco K is like the most beautiful I love the shade on me and then Posey K is just nothing like I really have it's kind of like a deeper um I don't know if you'll be able to like it's like a deeper pinky mauve nude <laughs> I guess you could say um whereas Coco K is like my lips but better kind of so these are they're not full. They've been sharpened. I don't know if you're technically supposed to sharpen these or if they're like self sharpening, but I have no luck. So I just sharpen them. So these will like go down and I'm going to be marking them. Um, but they're both like relatively full. Uh, but what I have been doing is applying at least one every day after like right before I walk out the door kind of which um, is what I did with my last lip liner I used up and it helped tremendously. Um, I was doing it right at the end of when I was getting ready, but then I would go brush my teeth and then it would get all over my toothbrush. So I put them next to my toothbrush and then also I'll brush my teeth and then I'll apply them. So just a tip if you are working on using up lip liners, that has really helped me. Um, so those are my oldest two and I don't really like love any of my lip liners. So I'm hoping to like get some of them moved out this year. Uh, so those are my 13 products. I'm going to be using this sheet as I get ready, like Sarah Rose suggested, uh, and tally off how many times I've used everything. Um, I think my goal across the board is going to be at least 15 uses for each item. Um, I'm sure the gloss, I'll get way more use out of that because I've already used it six times. <laughs> um, and I counted today. I'm going to do from today until the 12th of the next month just to have a couple days to like prep to get the video live, hopefully on like the 15th ish of each month. Um, so I counted today. My goal for each product is 15 uses for the month because my thought process is kind of like, I want to use them each day I go to work. Um, if it's like the weekend or a day off, or if I'm working from home, then if I want to like mix it up and do whatever, a little something different, I'm free to do so. I think that will keep like the monotony less but uh some months where like right now we're not in the office as much um maybe we are only are in the office like 15 ish days so i didn't want to you know set it for like 20 or something super high uh, but i didn't want to set it too low because i do want to still at least see some progress even if it is only like numbers of how much i've used so that is the status of my makeup 
2021 project pan. Um, like I said, it's been quite a while since I've done one of these and I feel like the last one I did was kind of like unofficial, like I didn't really super care about it. Um, so I'm really excited to be kicking off this one and I think seeing like her updates and I know a couple other people are doing them will keep me motivated and like getting stuff done. I think if I like once I hit pan on one of these, I think that'll be super motivating to keep going. Um, I'm just afraid it might be a while <laughs> before I get there. So uh, that is what I have for this video here today. Um, yeah, what are you guys panning? Let me know down below. I know it's a bit through the month, so like people probably already have their yearly project pans up, but I'm just starting mine. Let me know what you guys are working on down below. I'd love to hear. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.